Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with Jack and uh, this is your weekly fishing report. So we're going to get started with what everybody wants to know. What's going on with the rockfish, perch, spot, everything in the bay. So what's going on right now? I mean, it's pretty much summertime now. Yep. Uh, a lot of stuff is changing. A lot of stuff will be changing here too coming up in the next month or two. Now, we got a lot of stuff to tell you guys. Let's start off with rockfish. I mean, I know we've heard a lot of people come through here and talk about like shore fishing being kind of hit or miss, right? Yep. Uh, what's some of the baits, I guess, they've been buying here and trying out, like, you know, soft crabs? Yeah, soft crabs for sure. Live spot have been big too. Um, I know mm -hmm. people are still catching them jigging a little bit by the bridge. Um, yeah. I mean, other than that, like, uh, areas. Everybody wants to know coordinates, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of the areas where everybody's been kind of getting some of these fish, it's been all spread out literally uh, throughout the area. If you're in this Annapolis, Baltimore area, uh, you're going to have a couple options. Now, summertime pattern, it's pretty much going to be either early, early morning. Honestly, we'll die off at the middle of the day, and then you got to get back up there in the evening. Pretty much like any other fish once it gets hot. So, you gotta wake up early and uh, you know get that uh, fishing uh, kind of done before noon. Pretty much, Patapsco, it's been good. Uh, inside the Severn's been kind of hit or miss. Um, Hodges Bar, there's still some fish there, but they're spread out. Rock Hall down by Swan Point has been kind of like you know pretty decent. Once again, live lining, trolling through there. Uh, even chunking and inside the Chester and the Canaros has been pretty productive early morning. Uh, Eastern Bay, all spread out through Tillman Island, Poplar Island and whatnot. Same thing early morning, kind of dice off in the evening. Uh, so early morning bites been good. Uh, now, other than that, uh, if you're fishing the bridge, like you were saying, jigging and whatnot, it's pretty productive pretty much most of the time because of the structure, right? Definitely. Just like to relate to that structure. Definitely. Uh, perch fishing, what have you heard about some of that stuff? Um, bottom fishing's been going good. Mm -hmm. um, soft crab, razor clams, blood worms, pretty much going to be your top baits this time of year. Um, starting to kind of move into the shallows a little bit on spinners and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy yet, but we got the perch pounders for that. Um, and when we're out of bloodworms, we got the fish bites also, which are a great alternative to bloodworms. Um, it's actually what I use most of the time. So. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, that's been kind of been the number one thing to carry now on the tackle box since I don't want to deal with blood, bloodworms. And, you know, other than that, putting putting them on little tzabikis, uh, just big tzabikis for spot and perch and even without uh, any fish bites, just kind of sitting there digging them in a little bit deeper water will work pretty good. Yep. Now, me and uh, we're going to switch a little bit into uh, some snakehead fishing. Of course, I guess you guys have seen it. Good old the legend, the myth, the only one, Mr. Charlie Eversberg caught his first snakehead on a perch pounder. Uh, secret area. We won't tell you where, but he did. So they're everywhere right now. I'm new. Uh, we just went snakehead fishing. Yep, Alex put me on my first one down yeah. in uh, Blackwater the other day. And uh, I know we did. Okay, not the greatest day, but we caught fish. Yeah, uh, and, you know, that's been kind of like sluggish. I mean, June is going to be one of those months where those fish are kind of like, uh, there's a lot going on. I mean, some yeah. pre-spawn fish still kind of, not too many fish are post-spawn and, you know, guarding the fry and fish are still kind of doing their thing yeah definitely so it's one of those going to be one of those things where like what we did cover water try to find active obviously fish. active fish yeah. so show us some of the stuff i guess we were throwing that day so yeah top bait was this uh this gambler swim bait uh we were rigging it on just a screw lock weedless swim bait head with i think a one out or one eight, one eight ounce. Yep. Mm -hmm. um we dipped the tail chartreuse um the water was a little dirty so that's always something good to uh to try to do when the water's dirty it gets that little scent on there a little easier to see um, also catch them on topwater frogs. This is like a buzz toad we got here. Um, black's always a good place to start. Really good contrast. Um, so yeah, something like that. Just screw lock hook really yeah. up on top. And just to kind of get uh, another search bait out there, uh, weedless, one eighth of an ounce chatter bait. Another great option for you guys trying to find fish. Now, not just in black water, but uh, all these baits will be great options to start with anywhere in the region here. Definitely. So anywhere you're going now, there's a possibility of catching some snakeheads. Uh, of course, hollow bodies are going to be one of those like prime things uh, once the sun starts to you know fade away or early morning. 
Uh, obviously, select the areas where you're going to be throwing this at. Structure, well, right? Yep. Those Short. read lines. Mm -hmm. um, really, they walk really good back and forth, so it really keeps in the strike zone a long time, right on that edge of that re those reeds. So. Yeah. And then if you want to find some more aggressive fish, you say like popping frog. Yeah. Uh, and throw that around there. Uh, now, talking about tidal rivers and snakehead and everything that's in there besides perch. Uh, we were talking just about rockfish and how they're in those rivers, right? Uh, there's plenty of smaller size to some keeper size fish throughout the area in any of these tidal rivers. And one great bait for any kind of fishing, honestly, uh, it's a jerk bait. Yep. Uh, stick bait, whatever you want to call it. And I know you use them a lot too for fresh water, oh, yeah. but you know, for rock fishing, it works the same way. Just kind of throw them out, jerk them around, play around with how fast you're reeling that in. And it mimics a lot of our bait fish that we have around. Yeah. So great lure to use. Now, switching gears into a little bit of what's going on down south. Uh, it's been pretty kind of hit or miss also down south. Well, weather conditions are primarily the main reason why it's been like that with like the speckled trout fishing, water getting pretty murky uh, around the shorelines. So you gotta wait a few days to do that. And we've had, you know, high winds, storms, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully in the next few days that will kind of, you know, clean up itself and we're gonna have a steady bite hopefully down there. Water temperature gets warmer. You wanna work a little bit deeper or deeper points. Uh, don't stick too, too much into the super shallow areas unless you're fishing early mornings or evenings. Kobe fishing, not there yet. Yes, there's been reports of a few fish here and there down from the target ships to Virginia waters. I think it's still a little early. You will find some if you want to grind it out and go try for them, but that probably won't start until like mid to late July when it will be consistent. Uh, other than that, Ocean City surf fishing, shark fishing. I know we've done that before. Oh, yeah. So that's been pretty good. And some of the bait we use, we have it here. Yep. You know, fresh LY, um, what, sea clams, I think. Yeah, like, you know, one of those things where you can use like fish bites to catch a little kinkfish. Yep. Cut and, them up and toss mm -hmm. them out there, too. Yeah. So we got plenty of gear for that also. And we got plenty of bait. And other than that, they're catching, once again, kinkfish, sharks on the surf, stingrays. I uh, heard of a good amount of bluefish in the inlet with some hefty ones up to like 10 pounds. So if you're on the bridge and route the Route 50 bridge or the inlet, be ready, got your plugs, sting silvers, anything like that and we'll be good. Have you heard anything crabbing wise? Uh, I know people come in and buy chicken necks a lot, so I think it's starting to heat up. Oh yeah, we've sold a lot actually this yeah. past week. So that means there's somewhere out there where they're biting pretty good. Yes. My <laughs> guess, probably like the Y, a lot of uh, Talbot and Queen Anne's County permits. <laughs> oh, it's so that kind of gives it away. Typical spots, guys, get out there early now that it's getting gonna get warmer and give it a try. And if you got extra, bring us some. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's it for the fish report, guys. And we'll see you guys next week.